So the Writers Guild of America is scrapping its video game writing award just because there aren't enough members in its guild membership to submit games to it. And I think that's kind of stupid. To be honest, I think it was pretty cool to have a writing game award handed out to good quality games that had good writing. I felt like it was a good step to show how hard it is to write good scripts for video games, as video games are a lot more than just watching something, it's having to have someone engage in content with an actual game instead of just looking at something. And I think it was actually important to have something like this be shown. In an article by PC Gamer Magazine, it goes on to clarify exactly what's going on in particular. It says that the Writers Guild of America has decided to drop the category from its 2020 awards and possibly beyond because of too few games that qualify. But that doesn't make any sense because there's actually a lot of good quality games out there. As we know, the PS4 and the Switch have been shown to actually pump out a lot of good first party content for their consoles because they're actually trying to sell consoles. So it's not just about, you know, getting microtransactions or a live service there. They actually want to get consoles out there. So a lot of the time, we actually have these really good polished first party platform games out there so that we can actually sell actual consoles and usually that's where we will usually see good quality games come from so with those being said the case writing is really possible and good writing is possible it's just the fact that the WGA has decided because there's not enough members submitting game scripts that they're going to just take it out altogether. Before, they would have games like God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn and Assassin's Creed, which actually won the award twice. But with only AAA games really winning the award and not having that many members, they decided to actually scrap it all together. Now, I do think that this is something that they should have saved, in my opinion, or should have kept, in my opinion, as there are a lot of good quality games that are going to be coming out in the year 2020. And I do think that they have a lot of good writing to them and holding this back doesn't necessarily stop the gaming industry from being able to progress in making good writing. That's that's not going to stop them. But if anyone wanted to go for that award or if anyone actually was interested in that, now it's just kind of a slap in the face. In fact, Naughty Dog's Neil Druckmann, who won for Uncharted 4, The Last of Us, and The Last of Us Remastered, called it a misguided slap in the face on Twitter. And Josh Schur, who also co-wrote Uncharted 4 and is working on The Last of Us 2 now, actually took it one step further and called WGA short-sighted, claiming the organization was to blame for the lack of game writers in their membership. And a lot of other people are actually pretty upset about this actually happening. To be honest, I actually agree with the situation. It's always cool to be able to give awards to those who really do deserve it for doing hard work. Video games, even though you would think it's a fun job, is not just an easy job. There's a lot of things that do coincide with making a good game, and writing is one of them. Having a good direction and a good storyline really does sell a game, and having an award for having good game writing just kind of makes sense. Now, the Writers Guild Association did say that they will revisit the category when there's a critical mass of video games covered by them, but we'll never know when that's really coming up, and so we shouldn't hold our breath for it. Who knows, maybe a different company will actually look into having a legitimate writing award uh, such as the Game Awards, or who knows, maybe SAG after or something like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether or not the Video Game Writing Award should be scrapped, or if they should have kept the Writing Game Award for 2020. Thanks again for watching the video, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.